Was it a mistake making my own scripting language for my game? Maybe. Do I regret doing it? Not really. It was fun to make, and now I have a tool custom made for my needs. What are these needs? Well, I need to encode puzzle and cutscene logic in an easy to write and easy to load format to bundle with my level code. Each NPC interaction in my game needs to be loaded into memory before use. It would be wasteful to have that loaded in the main code bundle since that's loaded at game start and never gets unloaded. And because I want to keep this game under four megabytes of memory usage, I need to be more careful with my memory. So I need to be able to unload scripts when I'm finished with them. And my scripting language doesn't really need to do a whole lot. I need to be able to pause gameplay, show some text on the screen, control some character animations and move them around the level. So it doesn't need to be a fully featured language. This makes writing the language fairly straightforward to do. Now, I could bore you with the details of how I did this. I didn't do anything revolutionary with this language, so here's some terms you can research if your idea of a good time sounds like constructing and traversing data structures. Here's the cutscene system in action. And it's really basic. There are no function calls. The only types I support are integers and some limited string support. And I'm not really doing anything that complicated. And well, before you give up your social life to make your own language, here's some reasons why you might not want to do it. For starters, it takes valuable time away from being able to work on other parts of your game just to produce a language that is slower and less feature rich than C or whatever language you're using. And if you absolutely decide you do need a scripting language, you probably just want to use Lua. Honestly, if I were to start this project over, I would just consider using C. There are ways to compile C and just load it separately from the main bundle. So solves that problem. And if I had done this, it would run so much faster and give me access to my entire code base instead of the very limited set of instructions my dinky scripting language can do. I don't think Lua would have been a good choice for my game. My language is actually faster and more compact than Lua. Just loading Lua's interpreter takes about 128 kilobytes of code, or 132nd the entire RAM of the N64. And that's before I need to load scripts, which come with debugging and metadata. On the N64, I don't think Lua is the right choice, but if you're making a game for modern hardware, it's not that big of a deal. But I didn't. I made my own, I put in the effort, and at this point, it does offer some advantages. The code is easier for non-technical people to write, and building levels don't require installing a full tool chain to compile C just for some simple scripts. The entire build process is done as just an add-on for Blender. And I'm in good company. Final Fantasy VII and Ocarina of Time had similar scripting languages to run the simple game logic for their game. It makes it feel like it's a good fit for this era of games. And unless you're working under similar kinds of constraints, I really can't recommend you make your own language unless you're like me and you find yourself thinking about this sort of thing while at social gatherings. If you'd like to follow my progress for my N64 game, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. I'd like to give a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. I would love to be able to finish a full-size N64 game, the first after like 20 years and over 20 years, because it's been, it's been a while. Yeah, yes, I'm old. In over 20 years, and your support brings that closer to becoming a reality. That's all for this time, and until next time, take care. Just pause here for a minute. Do I, I don't know if we, I don't think we include any of this. I want to make a game. And to make a game, you have to, you want people to play it and you have to market it. And it's hard to do that. And you have to be a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't have to be a YouTuber. There's other ways, but this could be the extended cut for members, which we don't have set up on YouTube. Nobody wants to watch this. Why would we charge people to watch this? Okay, I'm, I'm stopping the camera now. <laughs>